Hi guys, Scott Larson here. I'm going to just show you all an easy way to catch bass. Uh, it's yum dingers. So all it is is a stick worm bait. The best bait in the world. This is why I'll catch everything. I mean, if it's a slow day, they will eat this. Today I want to show you how to rig this for your kids, for you, how you can catch more fish, how you can add a little bit of weight to catch fish, how do you fish it today. All right, I'm gonna first start here. How to rig up your pole for this bait. All right, right now I got a Canyon 2000. This is a small reel. This is what you need. You, you want something small. This is a finesse type fishing. I got a 15 pound wind tamer fins fishing line on it. It's like thread when you throw it in the, in the air. Look at that. It's like fly line. It's crazy. It throws a long ways. Okay. Then I got 20 pound fluorocarbon. Just a little piece right here. What you want to do, you want to tie a uni uni knot. Like I showed you in my other videos. Put, put it together. Make a loop. One two three four five on the mono you flip all right now you pull it together just like that take your thumbnail and make it tight just like that all right now you take your braid your braid you gotta you gotta wrap it up more it, it's got to be more more wraps. I go with 10. Flip it over just like that. Pinch it and go through 10 times. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and we go with 10. Take that line, wet it, wet it, pull it just like that. All right, wet both lines all the way through, pull it slowly till it hits. Wet it again. Don't yank that, take the two tags and yank them just like this, just like that. And then hold it tight, just like that and wrap it. Go a little bit with it, snug it up. All right, and then you tr just trim your access off. Sure is windy today. Make sure you take your access when you're out here fishing. Make sure you just put it in your pocket or throw it in the trap, uh, your tackle box. All right, got me a nice little uni knot. Next step, my favorite hooks. I love light wire hooks because I could, I could get a little three, four year old out here and catch bass all day with this setup right here. And you don't have to set the hook hard or nothing, it automatically pops them in there because it's so sharp. I like light wire hooks. All right, and these are three oct Gamma Gatsus, also worm hooks. All right, there you go. I, I like tying the trilene, so you go through, you go through. Once, 
go back around the same side. Make that loop. Make that nice little trilene loop right there. What it does, this won't slip it the way it does. Take your thumb, your finger, and start twisting it around. I like going five times. Same thing with this, you wanna get it wet. Wet it down, all right, you got it. Go right between the loop. Pitch it down, just like that. Wet it, go down. When it starts getting tight, just like that. That's when you stop. You take your finger now and, and slide it down. Pull down again. Slide it down. See, it won't burn up that knot. And for this only, I'm using only 20, 24 carbon. It's pretty nice because it sinks and uh, don't have no stretch. So, just clip the tag in a little bit, just like that. All right, got my young diggers. This is actually one of my favorite colors right here, especially on bedding fish. A little green, I'll always love green and orange. It's got that chartreuse right here. All right, this is for everybody. You know how the professionals are out there fishing they're jigging and they slam it and they're always missing fish you know this is where you rig it so you don't have to miss fish go down in the center to the barb then pop it out run it up to the neck and just twist it on just like that it's straight make sure it's straight all right here's what i do go right in the center of your hook it's pretty much a like a skin hook deal don't bury it the whole trick is don't bury the hook don't have it all the way in the middle like up here you might as well just stick it through the bait it's inside the bait you're skin hooking it just like that what happens that bass sucks it up he'll automatically spin it it'll spin out and pop out and it's so sharp it, it, it'll tear all right next step i i can't go i can't leave without it if you do you're not going to catch as much fish i'm telling you this is garlic minnow i have garlic crawl somewhere but i can't find this don't matter because it just stays up high on the on the water column so i just a little bit just a little bit like that okay all right here's how you fish it now guys all right this don't throw over your leader knot right there make sure your drag is kind of a little stout i got a medium heavy rod on here you want a good bend rod medium heavy is probably the best it's got a good bend in it you got enough power to get the fish out and open cover so what do you do this is my technique right here. I love fishing. Throw it out, let it hit. Put your rod tip sideways. And what I do, one, two, let it sink. I'm actually fishing it like a flute. One, two, three. Let it sink. Look at that little bass right there. Oh my God. He's so tiny. He came up there and just ate it up. I'm going to catch him. Watch this. He's right there if y'all could see him. He's so tiny. One, two. Let it sink. All right. Here's another way to fish it. I mean, this is such a dead. Where'd that little bass go? He's right there. 
He is so tiny. Watch what this little worm does to this little bass, man. At this side, he's tacking it. Look at him. He, he, he's just eating it up. <laughs> he just attacked. There's two of them. Two little guys. I'm sorry, guys, for the demonstration. I, I'm sorry. I got to play. I just scared them away. All right, let's see if we can catch a one here now. Throw it out. When I throw it out, I always let it go across the pond or lake and hit the bank. And what you do, you just crawl it out. Tw do that twitch of motion. One, up, oh, he's on there. Oh, them, them are little spawny bass. But that's what you get. You, you know, you're catching, you're catching for the kids. Oh my gosh, look at that. Giants, guys. Giants. But the whole trick is, it's just catching a lot of fish, guys.